The mental stress that first responders and military endure is sometimes too much to handle on their own. Oftentimes, it's just too difficult for them to ask for help or even know where they need to get help. In today's Service Matters report, we take a look inside a medical clinic in Roseville that's providing psychological and medical care for their patients. Veterans, military, and first responders end up being kind of the people who end up holding a lot of the really dark, painful, tragic parts of the human condition, and that, that takes its toll. Z Medical Group in Roseville was started in 2021 by Dr. Yusuf Hanif. He says issues he saw develop during the pandemic made him want to start his own practice. And it was during that time that we saw um, firsthand the mental health crisis within the communities, also with first responders. And that's part of the reason why we started Zeem was to kind of help some of the uh, people that are struggling. Dr. Hanif, a physician, partners with Dr. James Jung, a psychiatrist, to help their patients at every level. We have one of the only clinics in the area that collaborates care between psychiatrists and medical doctors. Dr. Jung is an Army combat veteran himself. You know, I remember, you know, how hard it was to come back. Not only just kind of processing what I've been through and some of those experiences, but then kind of learning to be back in the United States, trying to kind of go back to what I remembered, but I, I was very different. He recalls how hard it was to ask for help. And I remember the army culture, right, of like, you know, drinking, and this was for a long time how we just kind of dealt with this, right, which then led to a lot of other problems. One way the two help serious treatment-resistant depression and PTSD is through ketamine. Ketamine works on uh, neurotransmitters when you have symptoms of severe depression, anxiety, PTSD or even significant amount of stress, you cause atrophy and damage to some of these neurons. So ketamine works by producing glutamate that will actually repair these neurons. While ketamine is FDA approved with a doctor's supervision, the government warns the drug can be addictive, increase your blood pressure and slow your breathing. The ketamine is administered through an IV a few times a week, depending on the patient. What's really unique about ketamine, there's actually this network called the default mode network that we know now it turns off when you get ketamine treatment. That default mode network is overactive when you experience a trauma, and as a defense mechanism, it narrows your view of the traumatic situation. Dr. Jung uses the example of a veteran with survivor's guilt. It felt guilty and awful and, you know, um, like they should be punished for being alive. So when we take off this filter, you know, they might go from, I feel like I should have died and I feel really guilty to, you know, I think this was a way that I stayed connected with those people who were so important to me. And I don't think they would actually want me to live this way. Both doctors emphasize attacking the problem from every angle is the right approach. Ketamine is just one of those angles. It's like a feeling of freedom sometimes from a place they've been stuck in for a really long time. Zeem has locations in Folsom and Arden as well as the Roseville location.